Originally hailing from Atlanta, Georgia, Morris Cafiero pursued her education at the University of North Florida, where she obtained degrees in both photography and ceramics in 1999. However, during this period, she was diagnosed with hypothyroidism, a condition characterized by an underactive thyroid gland, leading to insufficient hormone production and various associated symptoms. Among these symptoms, some individuals may experience fatigue, depression, or weight gain. Morris Cafiero, now employed at the Memphis College of Art, found herself in the latter category. However, this experience also served as a catalyst for her emergence into the public sphere and fueled her artistic endeavors in recent years. In 2010, while capturing self-portraits in various tourist destinations like Times Square in New York City, Morris Cafiero was inspired by a particular image to embark on a personal project that would consume the next six years of her life. This project, titled Weight Watchers, documented candid reactions of passersby to her plus-size body. Traveling extensively with her camera, Morris Cafiero visited locations worldwide, including Peru, Paris, Panama, Berlin, and Prague, seeking to compile a diverse array of responses for her thought-provoking photo series. In November 2014, Morris Cafiero shared insights about her project with The Cut, emphasizing the importance of authenticity in her work. She explained, whatever it is that I'm doing, I want to make sure that it fits the scene so it's not like. Of course they're staring at you because you're naked in the middle of the street. Morris Cafiero clarified that she doesn't wear costumes, rather she simply dresses as she would on any given day, capturing genuine moments as she navigates the world. Reflecting on the project's inception, Morris Cafiero recounted a pivotal moment during her 2010 trip to New York City. In an interview with the Daily Mail in January 2016, she recalled setting up her camera in Times Square and later discovering a man seemingly smirking at her in the background of the photos. This encounter sparked her curiosity, prompting her to set up her camera in public spaces to observe strangers' reactions as they passed by. As Morris Cafiero's Weight Watchers images garnered attention from various publications like HuffPost and the Daily Mail, she felt inspired to compile them into a book. In an effort to fund this endeavor, she launched a Kickstarter campaign. Additionally, online criticism from anonymous users served as a catalyst for the project's evolution, with some echoing the wordless reactions captured in Morris Cafiero's photographs. Ultimately, the book, titled The Watchers, was published in September 2015, featuring a selection of both positive and negative alongside the photographs, offering a nuanced exploration of public perception and societal norms. One page of the book featured a harsh remark, fat lump of lard, stay off the donuts and go running, makes me ill just looking at her. However, juxtaposed on the facing page was a message of support. You are brilliant and amazing and courageous and I wholeheartedly understand the intent of this project. Reflecting on the reactions to her images, Morris Cafiero shared with the Daily Mail, the most surprising thing that I saw was the reactions that people had to the images after they were published. Hundreds of people sent me emails bullying me about the way that I look. Despite the vitriol, she maintained that she wasn't hurt by the negativity. I know that are a haven for people to be cruel, but I think it is hilarious for people to waste their time to tell me their opinion of me, Morris Cafiero continued. I don't care what anyone thinks about me. I love the way that I look. Later, in an interview with The Independent in October 2017, Morris Cafiero reflected on the project's objective, stating, for a lifestyle audience, the goal was for us to see how we look at other people. She acknowledged that she couldn't know what the people in the photographs were thinking, but she selected images that seemed to capture critical or questioning looks from strangers. Among the images featured in The Watchers, Morris Cafiero singled out her favorite, titled Blondie. In the photo, she wears a Blondie t-shirt, workout leggings, and trainers, while passersby look on with apparent contempt. This particular shot was taken in Los Angeles, a city chosen by Morris Cafiero for its specific cultural context. In January 2016, Morris Cafiero explained to the Daily Mail her decision to choose Los Angeles as a subject for her project, stating, According to my research, the most vain city in the U.S. is Los Angeles, so I decided to go there. She described her experience at Venice Beach, observing people working out and deciding to blend in by purchasing workout attire and mimicking their activities. The resulting image captured the essence of her surroundings perfectly. Despite receiving suggestions to alter her appearance, Haley remains resolute in staying true to herself. I got an email from someone who is big and wants me to dress up better, she recalled. I don't have an interest in dressing up better. I mean, what I wear is what I like to wear. 
Morris Cafiero expressed her preference for her everyday attire, finding both visual appeal and comfort in it. Standing firm against critics, Morris Cafiero found support from photographer Amanda Decadenet, who penned the foreword for her book. Decadenet praised Haley's authenticity and the unfiltered nature of her photos. These images are perhaps Haley's own version of a selfie, she wrote, noting their raw and uncurated quality. The cabinet emphasized the candidness of the captured audience, ranging from amusement to repulsion, highlighting the absence of manipulation in the images. Over six years, Haley Morris Cafiero documented her experiences in public spaces, aiming to capture the reactions of those around her to her plus-sized body. While her work garnered acclaim, it also attracted criticism. Yet Morris Cafiero remained steadfast in her refusal to conform to societal norms of appearance, a stance deserving of commendation in a culture fixated on image.